Hey guys, my name is Miles, and today I have another commentary for you, and um, this time I want to talk about drugs, and I don't mean that hardcore drug that uh, people like to get messed up on, but I'm talking about weed and uh, some of the little things that don't really hurt you, uh, something like herbs and stuff like that, but anyways, um, so yeah, I, I'm going to tell you my first experience, and I'm going to tell you what it actually did to me later on, and I, I really don't recommend anyone doing this these i was gonna say this and these but i really don't recommend anyone doing this um even for your first time i really don't recommend doing it at all just because it, it could do some things to you depending on how you can handle it but um anyways so i'm gonna say i was in 17 and it's not i'm not exactly sure because um my memory has gotten really bad now that <laughs> that a lot of things have happened and sometimes i just forget and um, but anyways, so my first time I actually ever smoked weed was when, um, there was a party at the, I think it was Huntington Beach, uh, a lot of people know that place. Um, so there was a party there and I got invited and one of my friends, she was visiting from another state because she actually moved from high school, um, from the, the city I was living in to Pennsylvania and that, that was, a, that was a long place. So she actually came back to visit her friends and she wanted to go to the party so i was like yeah let's go well we'll go there and um she's like hey becca and i'm like uh yeah and she's like do you want to smoke some weed and i'm like um not really and she's like well come on let's go try it and then <laughs> she actually she used to do it a lot and um she was actually the reason why i i smoked because i don't know why but i i give in too easily and i get persuaded pretty quickly and she actually took a puff at it. Um, she actually got it from someone and then she took a puff and she's like, here, try this. And I'm like, um, I don't think I should be, <laughs> be doing this. And then she said, go ahead. No one, who cares? Just do it. And as soon as I took the first puff, um, I didn't cough. Most people, then they do it, they cough because they can't handle it. And um, I actually started inhaling it like really, like really big puffs. <laughs> And, um, basically people would say, oh my gosh, you took like the biggest hit ever. And I was like, oh my God, I can just like totally hang out with cool people now. But honestly, it's not really that cool to smoke. <laughs> so it was getting towards later in the night. And then all of a sudden, um, she's like, oh my God, I think we're out of weed. And then I was like, hey, let's keep smoking. I want some more weed. Um, I have money. I want to buy some. We can keep smoking. And, um, there was a lot of people selling it there. And I couldn't really find someone that I wanted to buy it from, but um, I didn't actually end up spending my money on more weed. I actually spent it on trying to find a way home because we didn't have a ride home. I ended up paying like 20 bucks to actually call one of my cousins and have her come pick me up. And she's like, what were you doing? And I was like, nothing. And then while I was in the car on the ride home, I just started giggling because even though I, I giggle just in general, uh, I don't know why, but whenever I'm high, <laughs> I just start laughing at everything. Everything seems to be funny. And, um, at the time, I was sitting in the car just laughing, and she's like, what the hell's wrong with you? And then I, I told her what I did, and then, um, she's like, wow, I never, I never thought you would do that. And I was like, I know, don't tell anyone, please. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I, I was actually in the car, and we were going home, and... I told my friend, I'm like, you better give me some money because I'm not wasting my whole 20 bucks on this ride home. And she's like, okay, I'll give you the 10 bucks. We'll split it in half. And she ended up moving back to Pennsylvania and she never gave me my money. And every time she comes to visit, I ask her about my money. She's like, what money? And I'm like, oh my God, you cannot trust her. You cannot trust her. But on the ride home, um, I actually had cotton mouth and I could not, <laughs> I kept spitting at everything. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want it in my mouth, it just felt disgusting, and I was like, uh, I felt like I couldn't swallow anything. And, um, that was actually my, my first time, and, um, eventually I started- I didn't do it all the time because it wasn't really something that, um, I got addicted to because I never felt like anything like cigarettes, um, or weed or any kind of drug was addicting because it's not. It, it's only addicting when you make it addicting. And eventually I, I kept doing it, not every day, but once, let's say every month, I would do it. And one time um, I called my cousin over and her boyfriend was actually coming over as well and he was bringing some weed. Now I'm not entirely sure what was in the weed, it could have been laced, uh, I'm not entirely sure. But we were actually hotboxing it inside of the car. And um, I got to the point where there was too much smoke, I inhaled too much, I couldn't... I just started freaking out and I didn't know what to do, so I, I kind of kept my calm. I kind of kept my cool and I was keeping calm. And we went inside um, Taco Bell, 
<laughs> and I actually started hugging the walls because the walls were so cold and I was like, oh my god, this just feels so good. And then um, my cousin's boyfriend, she, he actually said, what the hell's wrong with you? Why are you hugging walls? And he would just kind of make fun of me. But I was like, I don't know, just, it's so cold. And then um, we went to a, a dollar theater, which is kind of like where they have old movies, except for it's only a dollar to watch it. And Pineapple Exp Express was actually playing there, and he he wanted to go see it. So we went to the movie theater, and I was sitting in the we were sitting in the very back next to the door, and it started getting dark, and I was I was freaking out, and I was like, what the hell is happening? I I can't concentrate. Uh, I think I'm gonna like pass out or. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't swallow, I couldn't do anything. And if you think I'm swallowing as in something perverted, you're sick, you sickos. But I, I felt like I couldn't breathe at all, and I started panicking, and I was like, <sighs> Can, I, we gotta get out, because I can't breathe. And then all of a sudden, um, they took me out into the car. <laughs> well, well, there was no smoke inside the car, it was all clean, It was they let it air it out. And, um... My cousin's boyfriend was actually like, damn it, Becca, I actually wanted to watch Pineapple Express. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> and I haven't seen it yet either yet. And, um, yeah, that was actually the first time. And then after that, it, it kind of just went all downhill. I don't know what happened. Um, I think I went to the doctors and they said there was something wrong with me. And they never really told me exactly what it was. But they said there was something wrong with me. And I said, what is wrong with me? And they said I had anxiety. No, they said they didn't say I had anxiety. They said I had seizures. Silent seizures, which... Um, basically, you just start shaking, you don't even notice it. It's not as bad as people who have seizures, but in all reality, I don't think I have that. Um, I kind of think I just have nerves. I had a nerve in my brain to where I have anxiety now, and I kind of just freak out and panic, and just, it, it was kind of hard for me to leave the house for about two years just because I was scared to go outside. Even when it started turning nighttime, I was kind of, I was just freaking out. I was scared that... I would go to sleep and I wouldn't wake up in the morning and that I would just die. I, it was kind of really bad actually. And there was a time where it took about maybe three months for me to actually, not three months, but maybe about six to seven months before I actually started feeling a little bit better about myself. And at this point, I still have anxiety and I still freak out just a little bit depending on the places I go. And if I'm not familiar with the place, but it's not as bad as it used to be and I'm happy that I'm actually doing better. But um, I'm not sure if it was because of drugs or weed if you would ask but that was kind of one of the main reasons why i started freaking out and i couldn't handle anything but yeah so that's kind of the reasons uh one of the reasons why i don't recommend doing drugs because after you first do it um it kind of it kind of messes with you you don't feel the same afterwards and you just kind of start feeling lightheaded all the time and i don't know you just it, you kind of feel a little bit depressed if i if i may say so that was my first time and that was um, my experiences with weed and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video and I'd really appreciate it if you left a, a like and uh, yeah let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about. I have other stories uh, I don't mind talking about as well so um, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye! By the way, I just wanted to say I love you guys and I hope you guys have a good day. And I don't know why I'm talking like this because I want to fill in this gameplay because this gameplay seems to be amazing to me because I am so cool at this game and I do well. And I love Call of Duty and shooting people and hardpoint. That's it, bye. <laughs>